After a two-year investigation, the Republican-led House Select Committee on Benghazi has released its final report on the 2012 terror attack. Ultimately, the 800-page report found no new evidence of wrongdoing by then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. For 800 days and $7 million, pretty much all we got was months and years of accusations and conspiracy theories, and ultimately, in the end, a reiteration of everything all the previous reporting already showed. As a political exercise, this was honestly a fiasco. The New York Times this morning, their headline from this report, Benghazi panel finds no misdeeds by Clinton. The long-awaited Benghazi report found no new evidence of wrongdoing by Hillary Clinton. You wonder how much is left to uncover, and the answer is very little to nothing, and that's what we got out of the report. There really isn't anything there that's important that we didn't already know. You now have Chairman Gowdy saying, I simply ask the American people to read the report for themselves. It's 800 pages, by the way. Look at the evidence we've collected and reach their own conclusion. Uh, admitting in that press conference that there is no conclusion here uh, regarding the focus heavily on Hillary Clinton. I'm just going to count them up here. Eighth congressional review of the Benghazi attack. Um, we are also looking at investigations by the State Department's Accountability Review Board and interagency security assessment teams. Been a lot of questions asked, and I was not aware until I read this in the New York Times, D uh, Dana, that this effort to investigate has drawn on longer than the investigations into the assassination of JFK, uh, the 9-11 attacks, Hurricane Katrina, and Pearl Harbor. So what's the headline? Two years, seven million dollars, and 80 new witnesses, but no new evidence of wrongdoing by a single individual, including then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton.